Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Capricorn friends and friends of Capricorn. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So Capricorn, it's good to see you guys. If you're new here, I do go over channeled messages. We look at oracle cards and then into tarot messages. If you guys are returning, it's good to see you again. Thank you for your support. I love you. So moving into your channel messages here to start, Capricorn, a couple things came through. The first thing that I was told was in a nutshell. So in a nutshell, in a nutshell, is to sum something up, basically. Um, what came through on that, though, was more the nut itself, I guess, or what may be inside of that nutshell, the seed. Everything, everything that you need to grow, to move where it is that you want to go, is already programmed within you, was the message that came through, to sum that up for you guys, okay? The next thing that came through was uh, bliss awareness, so a mixture of bliss, joy, and awareness, your bliss awareness. Are you guys aware of what does bring you joy? What brings bliss into your life? Are you aware of the joy and happiness and bliss that you bring into this life as well for others? There is a call to focus on not to, you know, ignore everything else, but there is a call to bring more of that awareness into your life at this time. Number one, because joy is awesome, right? We definitely experience more of what we work to put into the world as well or to put into life so if you're looking for more bliss or more joy know that pursuing that and taking advantage of activities that do bring you bliss and joy are doing exactly that okay for some of you i do kind of get a feeling of maybe you're not aware of what that is or maybe it's shifted or changed kind of back to this in a nutshell everything that you need is programmed within you okay so go inside capricorn time to go inside to um to see what's there now's the time to figure it out i also got the number 14 and the color orange okay so this message is brought to you today by the number 14 <laughs> and the color orange um 14 i do get uh, i mean that breaks down to a five so change could be um coming seven was also sort of attached to that but spirit was saying no not seven um, I feel like this is a heightened spiritual time for you is kind of what I'm getting from that seven being such a highly spiritual number and orange being the color of the sacral chakra. Um, so I feel like there is a need to connect with your life force energy right now. Maybe some work, work with your mom too. Okay. Um, all right. So let's get into your oracle messages, you guys. We are doing the wild unknown archetype deck today. So Spirit, have me pull three cards for you guys. You got, let's um, see so if we can hold all these up. The Threshold, the Mountain, and the Tear, or the Tear. <laughs> but in this case, well, I do kind of feel like it's a little bit of both. So let's talk about this. The Threshold. I do feel, you guys, uh, kind of back to this concept of like a seed or in a nutshell, I do feel like you guys are bumping up against a growth edge. This threshold here is something that you were always meant to cross. It could be a natural threshold or milestone in life. As we age, there are certain milestones that we go through. Maybe you're getting married. Maybe you're buying a house. Maybe you're getting a divorce. Maybe you're having children. There are many things that this threshold or this milestone could symbolize. I do feel like we're looking more at something that brings you joy, though something to bring more joy into your life, this growth, whatever this is. So the door, the gate, initiation. The growth is really what's coming through here for me. Um, you guys may be going through a spiritual practice, being initiated. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that double, yeah, double seven there. Maybe you guys, you guys are going through an initiation process right now. Okay. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> All of that is already programmed within. I feel like you guys are being activated right now. And activation, um, it's an interesting word to come through too. I feel like there is this information in your genetics, um, your code here and coming here, what you want to experience, what you wanted to experience. There's something being activated energetically within you. And this doesn't have to be. There is, uh, okay, that's why this joy is coming through. There's a request to focus on joy because it's such a high initiation it's such a high vibration coming through into your experience right now there is a need to vibe high okay like i said we're not ignoring 
everything else that's going on in our life, but there is a season to take care of every component of our life. And this season right now is about upgrades, about initiation and bringing that high vibration in, okay? Ooh, yay, love that. So with the mountain, mountain is um, the ascent, the peak, the insurmountable. So the book talks about, um, there's this choice, essentially. There's this choice to either rise to new heights. So this initiation, you guys are being activated here to rise to new heights or um, to grapple with competitiveness. Um, an inflated sense of self was something there too, or possibly falling into isolation. So uh, your choice, right? I feel like it's not the end of the world if you don't take this, but why shoot yourself in the foot? Why make things harder for yourself? If they are or have been difficult right now, please take this as your call to have that faith to move towards your bliss and your joy, to elevate your vibration, because this is what's being requested of you right now. I do feel like there are emotions that will be coming up throughout this process. Um, the miner's magic is another component this card talks about. It's not always just about the ascent. There is magic in mining deep into the emotions as well. And I feel like this is a, a combination of things that are happening for you right now. You're ascending and you're also bringing forward what was buried deep. Whatever this is, it's being activated for you guys, okay? So the tear or the tear, <laughs> I do feel like you guys may be being pulled in a couple different directions right now. You may be feeling like you're tearing open. And I do feel like there is a bit of being cracked open here that's going on. So the tear, morning, uh, morning release and rain is what the book titles it. Softening the ego and acknowledging disappointments or despair. So like I was saying, we're not totally ignoring the other components that are going on in our life, but there is a request to focus on 717 on the timer, to focus on the bliss and joy vibration, okay? So we're acknowledging, we're validating, ah, I see there's disappointment or despair here. What is this emotion trying to tell me? First of all, going, I see that it's there, okay? It's important to validate our emotions. And then to go, what is that trying to tell me? Great, now I've got the message. Let's get our hiking boots on and we're gonna schlep up this mountain, right? So there may be some tears shed. Like I said, I do feel like there's some emotions that are coming up, but don't let this bring you further into disappointment or despair. You can look the devil in the eye, but don't take the devil by the hand. You can look into your shadow, but don't let it pull you too far into it, okay? You can still do work on the shadow there without becoming the shadow itself. All right. Okay. So I am going to pull um, a wild unknown animal spirit oracle card for you guys as well. And then we'll move into the tarot. The bee. You queen bee you. So the bee, the component that's standing out to me here with the bee is community. Um, that's interesting too. We're talking about the devil. Well, you guys are the devil, right? <laughs> Capricorn. Um, Idle hands are the devil's workshop. I do feel like there's encouragement to keep yourself busy, not to the point of ignoring things, okay? With the tear coming through, it's really important to validate where there is disappointment or despair, but there's a difference between validating your own experience and allowing it to consume you, okay? So here, the encouragement here, this is the solution through this disappointment and despair, is make sure that you're moving that energy through your body too. Acknowledge it and then get to work. Make it work, right, Capricorn? Um, and again, like I said, you're not trying to spiritually bypass anything. This is just making sure that you're using your energy in an intelligent way. You're putting it towards things that are moving you closer to where you want to be. Okay, instead of further away from that. All right, so let's do it. This is, um, oh my gosh, which, which deck do I have here? Fortuna. <laughs> I haven't pulled this one out for a minute. This is the Fortuna deck. So Spirit, what do we have here for Capricorn? And huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you guys are interested in becoming a channel member yourself, I do have... A link in the description you can click on, or there's a join button right next to the subscribe button. 
You can hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to take you on this journey with me. You guys are intelligent too, so please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you and which are not. Feel free to leave those messages that are not for you behind. And um, check out your rising moon Venus, any other major placements in your chart for a more complete picture of your story. So five of cups here at the bottom. This is your hope, hopes and dreams. <laughs> surprise, surprise, you guys. Five of cups here, this is disappointment. <laughs> so like the tears talking about here, not to ignore, okay? I feel like you're very well aware of where something has been feeling disappointing or where you may be slipping into despair. Um, and there is a hope or desire here to not have that happen. For some of you, this could be, I mean, maybe you are slipping into that disappointment and despair. And because of that, there could be a hope here to, um, I'm getting community here with the B as well, like trying to spread that energy to others because you're in that place. And if that's the case, I love you, Capricorn. Please turn your face towards the sun, okay? You deserve to pull yourself out of that pit. Okay, let's keep going. So for your second deck here, we're going to use the Phantasma deck. Spirit, what do we have here for my Capricorn friends? Cappy Cap. Uh, world here at the split is standing out. Something major coming to a close. Major cycle ending. I do feel like whatever this threshold is, this energetic upgrade that's happening, this may be something that you have been dancing around for a minute. You've been working to upgrade for quite some time and just feeling like um, there's just something missing in getting you to that point. But there is an extra helping of support here right now to help get you through or to push you through this activation, this initiation, because you're ready. Okay, you're ready, Freddie. All right, what do we have here for Capricorn, please, Spirit? Um, and this is, like I said, a general message, you guys. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't resonate. If you are interested in personal readings, I do have those open and available. There's a link in the description of the video that'll take you to my website. I would love to help you on a more personal level, okay? <laughs> the world again at the split. Hey, you guys, I feel like there's a major something coming to a close. Love that, love that, love that. All right, what's going on for Capricorn? <laughs> And this is the year of the dragon as well. Um, there was that dragon imagery on the card. The mentor. So the Hierophant was standing out in this other deck here too. The mentor is the Hierophant. So your fear, fear aversion, anxiety. You guys, this is your initiation. <laughs> the Hierophant, the mentor here is, is being initiated into higher spiritual realms or higher spiritual practices. There is an energy upgrade that's happening right now or that's available right now and i feel like um like all all these messages are timeless but we are moving into mercury retrograde here soon and i feel like this is the time or that is the time because we're in pre-shadow to really start opening up to this initiation i feel like there are some symptoms okay there may be some dizziness nausea um general malaise right that may be coming forward and that is making you afraid or making you feel anxious maybe you've started this ascension before and you got to a point where it freaked you out <laughs> freaked your shit out the door right this is the time to approach this okay maybe for some of you there is a need for spiritual counseling okay and if that's the case don't be afraid of that absolutely reach out to those who can help you Ooh, <laughs> so you're general to start. You have the start. Yay. So uh, wish come true, renewed hope, you guys. The star also talks about aligning our energetic centers, our chakras, right? In doing this, you are connecting to the divine. You're connecting with the earth as well. You're connecting with the divine. And this is why there is renewed hope. This is why their wish is coming true. You are um, collapsing time, essentially, when you've got that body, more the root chakra area, the heart, heart chakra, and the mind, third eye crown above. When these are all in alignment, we are present. 
when we're present, we collapse time. Okay. We allow the things that we're working to manifest or the things that are here for us, trying to reach us. It allows them to come to us, to become a part of our reality. So with the star coming through here, I do feel like there's that encouragement um, to make it happen, Cap'n. Okay. Start meditating. If you're not already, put effort into you and your spiritual evolvement and involvement right now. Okay. Okay. Whoop. Temperance comes through here too. All right. Two major arcana to start, you guys. I feel like this is a pretty big time for you. So temperance here, um, I love this with the, the mountain and the tear, these emotions coming up, but also being asked to bring in those high vibrations. Temperance can be, uh, well, it's al alchemy. It's taking something and turning it into something else. But it's exploring these emotional realms, these emotional depths that the tear is talking about and still staying grounded, making sure that you are not being swept up in the emotion of the ocean, <laughs> the emotion of your emotion or the motion of your emotion ocean. Yes. Um, I do feel like there is a brighter day coming. It may be that you are going through a dark night of the soul currently. If that's the case, keep going. You don't want to stay there, right? You will get through this. This is something that you came here to do, okay? Um, I don't know why. Aquarius and Sagittarius, are that's their cards there, but Spirit's wanting me to speak that for some reason. Now's your time. Okay, yeah, get moving. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you, spirit. So, uh, back to this mind, body, spirit. All right. Um, moving from being in that present moment and then incorporating action. So this Sagittarius here is ruled by Jupiter. It's a planet of movement. So there's a request here as you are manifesting or working towards this upgrade, this initiation to not just rest on your laurels is what I'm hearing. There is still action that's requested and required in order to make this all run back to the bee here being a busy little bee make sure that you're moving that energy through very jupiter energy thank you spirit so good stuff for you guys um seven of candles comes through first seven of wands uh courage okay definitely is coming through on this meditation is something that's standing out here too being in your good stuff this is highlighted like extra extra brownie points right extra experience points when you participate in these activities at this time standing your ground i do feel like um you know the the higher that we do ascend the greater our purpose here the more that there are forces working to knock you off that path so i feel like it is supported right now you are being supported to help hold your ground and you're being reminded to hold your ground. Have courage in that regard, okay, you guys? That will be rewarded. And yes, it will. I wanna get a little bit more into what this initiation looks like. Eight of Wands, oh, hell yeah. Comes in to clarify the good stuff here. This is good news, <laughs> good news, everybody. Um, I'm just hearing help, okay, help arriving. This B is standing out to me again. The more that you participate in your community here, the more your community comes to support you, comes to help you when needed. Maybe even when um, you're not even asking for it. You know what I mean? The bees know um, they're very well orchestrated. They communicate in a particular way, but they're also pheromones. Well, it's also a part of the communication that the bee, uh, the queen bee <laughs> releases, right? And everybody knows what part to play in that situation. So I feel like there is a request for you guys to, if you don't have community right now, I get that it's not easy to just, you know, build from nothing, but it is possible as well. Start putting yourself out there. Start getting out there. Ah, that's why the bliss and joy. Your bliss awareness, okay? If you are in a place where you're finding you need to build community, Go out and start doing those things that you enjoy doing. Because bet, 
you're going to find like-minded and um, similar energetic wavelength type of people. You're going to find your tribe by going out there and doing the things that you enjoy doing. Okay. Um, I do feel like there may be mm, a message coming through. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Let's look at that just a little bit more. Can you tell me a little bit more about that message? This good stuff coming forward for Capricorn. Ace of Cups. Hmm. Okay. So, um, Ace of Cups, this is a, a opportunity for a new relationship, a new emotional connection. There could be a relationship coming in for some of you. I feel like ultimately though, in largesse, this is your relationship to yourself. The imagery on this card in particular, she's got, or they've got this, um, coming out from their heart. There's a little component coming from their mind here too. I feel like there's something your heart is saying or will be saying. I feel like it has been saying it. Maybe you haven't been listening. This is the message that is being requested to be heard, but you're hearing it by holding your ground, taking courage to hear the message. And I feel like it's surrounding a relationship for some of you. Okay. Maybe courage to try again, to start again. Maybe love has been hard for you guys. Maybe it's been hard to love yourself. You can do it, okay, Capricorn? All right. So um, what you don't see coming, what's in the dark at this time? You guys have the hanged one. The hanged one. So I do feel this is um, a delay. Could be a force break, but delay, a need to see something differently, okay? With the archetype cards that came through here, I feel like with like the mountain in particular standing out, you guys can ascend, you can make this ascent, or there can be this fall into ego where things become competitive. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys are being given an opportunity. Well, and this, this feels some like something more. Mm, okay. Something coming forward. All right, that makes sense. So this is your opportunity here to see this, okay, you guys? You need to make this ascent. You need to allow yourself to be initiated here. If you don't, if you're allowing the ego to take over and you're falling into competitive behavior, feeling that you need to fight to survive, okay, rather than um, just firmly planting yourself and grounding yourself where you are, I feel like something is going to come along here. Uh, <laughs> don't lay you on your ass is what, is that, what I'm hearing. I don't want to speak that, but I feel like there's going to be a break, okay? There's going to be something that causes you to stop so that you do see this. What happens after that? Well, I hope that you guys see. You guys see that this is your time to ascend. Uh, Queen, of Swords, <laughs> Queen of Swords comes in here with the hanged one. I love that. So, um, discernment. Okay. You guys, <laughs> like I was saying, there is a need to, to be honest with yourself here in this situation. Are you allowing your ego to run the show? We do need ego. Okay. That's not something that needs to be completely dead from our experience. We do need ego. It is a part of the way that we formulate a personality so that we can communicate with people, have interpersonal relationships. But right now there's a request to look at, is this running the show? Is the, um, is the ego taking away an opportunity for you guys here to ascend or to see something um, like your disappointment or despair? Are you falling into that and hoping to spread that disappointment to others? You want others to be disappointed too? Are you hoping to evoke fear? from others, or are you hoping to turn from your own disappointment, validate it, regret whatever has happened? I do feel like there's been loss, okay? There's always suffering as a human, but we also always have the opportunity to, um, to move forward, okay? We're not gonna sit in our own shitty diaper, right? We're gonna change that baby. So, what you may not see at this time, is that a B too? There's a little B there in the... <laughs> I love it. Okay. 
So I feel like um, it may be helpful for some of you right now if you do have a strong sense of community with others at this time to go to them and ask for some honest input. Hey, what do you see in this situation? Am I being too ego driven? You see what I'm saying? Okay, Capricorn. All right. Um, and you do you, right? This is this is all optional, but the energies right now are supporting this awakening for you guys. But this isn't possible if you're sitting in ego and in despair and disappointment. You can't increase your vibration when you're sitting in a low vibration. You can't smell like daisies if you're sitting in shit, right? Okay, so your obstacle at this time. Difficulty. You have two of coins, two of uh, discs pantacles this is balance um i feel like i feel like the difficult balance for you guys right now is that acknowledging the emotions like i said acknowledging the disappointment or despair but not letting it pull you in still allowing yourself to take that trek up the mountain but while also digging deep at the same time very 5D motion, okay, you guys? So you're burrowing in and up at the same time. We're not allowing this to bring us down. The difficult time right now is, is keeping that balance. And it's not a static position, it is a dance. But if you're not allowing yourself to be flexible, to move between both sides, the light and the dark, then, well, we become rigid. A body in motion stays in motion. And when you stop allowing yourself motion, you stop. You become that old dog that can't learn new tricks, okay? So, oh, <laughs> okay, awakening. <laughs> this is the other card coming in here for your challenge at this time. So awakening, this is judgment in the standard, <laughs> the standard deck. I just love, I, awakening, you guys, I was just saying that. So this is... In a nutshell, <laughs> to sum that all up, oh my God, Spirit, you cheeky so-and-so. Um, this is your difficult time right now, is this entire process of awakening, because it requires you to be flexible. It requires you to hear the call, to ascend, but then to also, at the same time, go inside, inside, Capricorn, and decide if you want certain components of yourself to still be there because you get to make that choice. Speaking of ego and personality, okay? Um, this, is your, this is your difficult process, is burrowing in and up. I know that you can do it though, okay? Capricorn, I love you guys. Thank you for joining me here in the general. If this is where I leave you, I love you so much. You can do this, okay? Give yourself grace and compassion. Learn some new steps if you need to with this dance, but don't, don't stop moving. Don't stop, get to get it. Um, I am gonna move into the extended portion of this reading. If you guys wanna join me, there are links in the description of the video. And again, I do have personal readings available. You can check out my website there. Please like, share, comment, subscribe if you did resonate with this reading or enjoyed this reading. I truly appreciate the support. It means a lot to me, okay? I have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description too. If you feel called to donate or tip, I will certainly accept that. It isn't mandatory. But to those who do support the channel in that way, I truly, truly appreciate it. It does go a long way. So in the extended, I'm going to go into direct messages from your higher self, love and advice, career and advice, and then what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions. Okay, I love you, Capricorn. I'll see you all very soon. Be well.